Hey everybody, Stu here. Um, today we're going to be going over how well the Jackson JS32 King V guitar holds a tune when you really lay into it on the whammy bar. Late last year I posted a video of me just jamming on this thing and the most asked question I have is how well does the Floyd Rose hold a tune because this isn't an actual Floyd Rose. So today we're going to go over this very simple. We're going to hit a G and we'll start low crank it up all the way to a dime bag dive bomb and uh, see how well she does. So let's get started. Let's kick this on. So that's our starting point. That's our G right there. So we're gonna start off with a little, just a little vibrato. All right, little Steve Vai-ish there, but illustrates the point. Let's see if we're in tune. Seems like we were a little out of tune to begin with, but overall, we're still there. We're still at the, pretty much the same starting point. Now what we want to do is we want to introduce a little bending of the strings when we do the vibrato, so. That kind of hurt it a little bit. All right, I'm not tuning it back up. We're gonna, we're riding this out. So now what happens if we want to do some Van Halen-y kind of stuff where we really start hitting this thing a little bit? Okay, let's see where we're at. A little disappointing. I thought this would uh, perform a little better than it is. <laughs> now I think we're just going to go full blown dime bag. Okay. Definitely gonna have to retune it after something like Yeah. Uh, if you're doing that live, you're, you're, you're going to have some issues if you're doing any kind of chords. You know, it's going to be a little, little twang in here. So now I say what we do is here's our starting point. We're just going to hammer on this thing. No musicality involved. We're just going to wail on this son of a bitch. Okay, I felt this slip. I felt the bridge actually slip down. So let's hear. Does that sound better? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if it slips a little bit, you just got to beat the shit out of it and get it back into tune. All 
Okay, so overall, what we found, a little vibrato, a little Steve Vai-ish coloring is fine. If you go down where you're bending and doing, if you're getting a little Van Halen on the thing, it's gonna start slipping. You start doing some dime bag dive bombs, it's really gonna start slipping. And if you just lose your mind on it, it may in fact slip and back into tune a little bit. Keep in mind, it's a $300 guitar. I mean, we're not talking about like the $1,000 Jackson King V that you see me playing on other videos. For the money, I still think this is a great buy. You can always swap out the Floyd Rose, put a real Floyd Rose in there. You can always swap out the pickups. I mean, it's a great starting guitar. You still got that Jackson binding, the famous Jackson binding on the neck. So that's my little demonstration and you have yourself a good day.